this video we want to look at the VST and the VSTI. The difference between the VST and the VSTI, let me just explain it to you. Assembly Pro X, we can access our VST folder by clicking Y and then coming down at VST Rewire. And then we can select our browser up here where we have stored our plugins. So if you want to know where that is, you can go on the Windows, you can go on Local Disk and then Program Files, and then you'll find them listed up here. For example, in my native instruments, I find my VST plugins there. And then also Steinberg also has got VST plugins as well. And then there is also another folder that you can create for yourself if you want. For example, you can be able to create a new folder for yourself and say folder and name that folder VSTi plugins. All right. So that and then you can go to the various instruments that are installed here and you can copy all of that. And then you can be able to paste them into your VST plugins that you have created. All right. So like this one here, you can be able to add them or bring them all up into one VST plugin. Sometimes when you install an instrument, uh, it's VST a plugin is at a different place and how you find that is for example in this case at fab filter i can open up and i can say pro c and then if i do not see it when i load my plugins then it's maybe not in my vst folder so then i can come up here and copy this file dll extension and then i can take it up to my vst folder that i've created and i can add it there and then next time when i reload or when i rescan i can be able to find it so i can come up here and i can say rescan and then it will be able to find so you can be able to bring all your vsts into one folder like i did here for example native instruments vst plugins and so on so that is loaded and then you can also be able to reset everything you can be able to change your browsing folder or whatever that you want up here. You can be able to select scan user and system VST folder automatically for new plugins so that it's scanned automatically every time you load your plugin. All right, so that is the VST folder plugin. So in this session, we want to look at mixing and mastering plugins. So mixing plugins can be used in a mastering process and the mastering plugins can also be used during the mixing process. It's just a matter of understanding why you want to use that specific plugin and what your end goal is when you are using that plugin. So let's open up our mixer so that I show you what are the basic plugins that you can use when you are mixing. So the first one is an EQ. We can open it up here. That's the first one that you can use during your mixing process. And then the compressor, a gate, the de the FX tube stage, to create distortion or create that warm feeling that tubes give and then distortion and then delay and the last one reverb you can use these plugins during your mixing process and then we want to look at mastering plugins let me just load them up all right so you can load up your limiter all right Let's load up compressor as well, multi burn dynamics and EQ. All right, let's move that. Let's move that there. Let's move that there. Take note that master plugins should be inserted in the master fader. So it's your EQ, your compressor, and your multi band dynamic. And then lastly, 
your limiter. So these plugins here can be used for your mastering. These ones can be used for your mixing. It's very important to understand the differences between mixing and mastering. We do mastering when we know that our mix has been done properly. And we do mastering of our mix so that we can be able to add more dimension, more loudness, and be able to increase frequencies that are less, decrease frequencies that are more, so that we can get a balanced track in the end. All right. So those are plugins for mixing and mastering.